Hello, in today's video we're going to create a little knife made out of Magna Cut. So first thing is to mark the knife's shape onto the raw steel and then using an angle grinder cutting out the rough shape. As you can see the initial plans changed a bit so the shape is a bit different. Um, already here you can see that the blade is kind of large in comparison to the handle. Um, yeah. Let's see how it looks in the end, but um, at this stage I feel very confident that this will be uh, a very nice shape to go with. And uh, I think it's a Japanese style bunka knife, it's called. So after the rough cut, of course, um, it's necessary to get a bit finer around the edges and trim off all the excess. So after final grinding, marking the middle of the blade, so the center, just using a little drill bit. Here, mounting the rough steel to the sharpening blade and then, of course, when grinding, uh, there's a lot of sawdust coming out and you don't want to have that in your lungs, so dressing up and then starting to grind already noticing that this little belt grinder is yes, having a hard time to cut into this very rough magna cut steel but still stuff is going off and in the end it just means changing belt more often um, yeah quite easy to change on this machine and Using a bit of polystol oil to easier move around on the on the armrest or the rest, and always in between cooling down the blade and some water, not to make any not cause any damage to the steel. And then, yeah, it was just um, going and grinding. Sometimes letting the grinder cool down a bit. And the good thing with this knife jig is that you can just flip it around, you're having the same angle, mounting it and then going on the other side. And yeah, you can see it's already taking off quite a lot of steel. So, um, so this is the finished uh, rough grind, I would say. Oh, it's not so rough anymore. And then checking for the handles, so you can see this black ebony wood. It's the same wood that I used. Or that was left over from the knife making course, which I'm reusing here. So marking the holes for the pins, and then starting to drill them out. I was quite surprised at drilling the holes into this very rough steel to grind was relatively easy in comparison. So here first starting with the, with the um, hand drill bit and then going on to um, in the end to make sure that the drill holes are really um, in an angle of 90 degrees. I will be using the drill machine as you can see here. Always using a bit of Lubricant. Yeah, and once once that's done, checking if the pins are fitting, and then marking the the wood roughly, cutting it roughly to size. Table saw. I had to be a bit careful because I only had these two little pieces left and they were not even the same, same thickness. So I had to work on that a bit as well. And um, here, putting an angle on the, on the edges so the transition into the handle is not um, so steep. And then yeah, cutting holes into, not drilling holes into the wood. First on one side, then 
put it in the pin to secure it and then the other one. Pretty sure that would have been a better way, I'm not sure. And in the end, yeah, it, it worked. Less important here is to, to do this step before and hardening the blade so because then I guess it's, it will be more difficult to drill a hole into the steel. At this stage it's, it's quite, quite easy and then uh, yeah, matching the handles. Just having the rough grind and then as I myself do not have the capability to heat treat magna cut because it's all, also quite yeah. Yeah, I think you need liquid nitrogen and all this kind of fancy stuff. Um, the knife shop where I bought the rough steel also offers a service where they harden blades that you can just send them in and they harden them and temper them for you and then you get the finished blade back in the mail. So here I'm preparing the handle, putting in a little bit dense so the later on the glue can um, add attach to it. So requirements from the knife maker is just to mark your knife on a piece of cardboard, write down what steel it is, which hardness you will want to have at the end, and then put it into an envelope and send it off. So it took about yeah, one and a half weeks, two weeks, and then it came back. So fully heat treated, didn't look very nice, but well, no one cares because uh, it's going to be grinded off anyways. And you can have seen this little dents that they use to test the hardness. So yeah, it implies that they tried to match the hardness that I was requiring. And yeah, here just grinding off the material on the top and then yeah, most fun part of uh, every knife maker, or well, most knife makers, is hand sanding. So, putting a really um, uh, nice finish onto the blade. Because if you've seen beginning on using the machine, you have the, the, the cuts into the opposite direction, and what you want to have is only the grinding cuts in this direction. So, before gluing on, the handles, of course, cleaning them with some um, yeah, alcohol and then mixing the epoxy. So it's a two part, five minute epoxy, 50% um, glue, 50% hardener, and then mixing it up, distributing it evenly amongst the, the handle. And also on the, on the blade, uh, on the ground, on the steel. Of course, making sure that the blade does not get any any glue onto it, so that's why you cover it usually in uh, some tape. Putting it together and then yeah, just clamping it and letting it sit there. I think I let it sit for overnight, so no rush there. Yeah, and once that's done, it's a, you got a really nice package of glue, wood and steel, which does not look very nice, but this part of knife making, at least to me, is the most fun part. So first cutting off the, the excess pins. Um, in the end, I think I used a, a regular metal saw, not this Dremel thing. Then roughly cutting the wood down, could have used uh, grinder already but still not so much and then this part is really the most fun at least I felt so because wood on this grinder goes goes away quite fast and yeah I'm not sure something about it here when going onto the pins making sure that the glue is not getting too hot so it doesn't burn and loses its, its functionality so relatively rough grind and then from that transitioning into hand sanding again so here just yeah, using the belt and I didn't go too fine and I didn't 
round it off too much because here I already noticed that the handle is quite small and if I round it off too much then it would feel all already too too small. So here I left it a bit more material on the handle and, yeah, and then taking off the, the tape it already looks like a real knife. Nice shape, interesting. Never seen anything like that, at least in the shops. And especially for Magna Cut, it's, it's quite rare to have that on, on kitchen knives because it's, yeah, for one hand, quite an expensive steel. And I'm not sure why they don't use it that often for kitchen knives. At least I see it more often in uh, bushcraft knives. And yeah. So final step, more or less, is then to oil the, the handle. Uh, as it's stainless steel, it's not really needed to, to oil the blade. But, yeah. And yeah, before you can really call it a knife, you gotta put an edge on it using the Tormac. And here it took forever. I'm not sure why. Most likely because it's yeah, it's just a, such a, a tough steel to sharpen, so it took longer than I expected to and. Um, yeah, it's a bit more tricky than I thought, and the angle is quite quite steep. Um, still, I like it like that because it's it's cutting into um, things quite nicely. And here, just using the lever to to hone it off, and then in a second you will see the final result. So, um, yeah, for making my own first knife in the in the basement with all these small rather small tools, it's quite fun and this thing cuts like hell and I already cut myself on this little edge. Um, and yeah, it's quite versatile, small, you can chop, you can um, use the, the tip for quite delicate work and yeah. Hope you liked that video and maybe you want to try to make your own knife at some point. It's not so hard, you can order the steel and start going. So. Thanks a lot for watching and um, see you soon.